Hey, guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill. <laughs> Ready to play a little bit of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. First gaming video I record in this whole year of 2024 so far. Yeah, I know uh, I'm probably not the best uh, <laughs> crawl content creator. There are others who are doing a much better job at the game. But uh, I still love playing it and I hope that some of you will at least enjoy following me on this run. I'm still busy trying to become a greater Delver in Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, which means I want to win the Delver class with every single species available in the game. Uh, at the moment I won 22 Delvers uh, with a horrible win rate. I think I won probably 1 out of 40 altogether, also, which is really, really not good. I just splattered away a couple of the weak guys again and again. And I am currently on a streaking. I won my last Delver run, just yesterday, with a Demon Spawn Delver, and uh, I hope when recording the video I will take extra care not to le not to lose this Ginny Delver that we will play today. Ginny Delver, that's our character. And uh, the first question is, what weapon do we want to use? We have the best aptitudes for long blades or short blades, and I think we take a short sword so we can eventually get a step in. The genie casts with health. Also, he gets spells when he levels up. At the moment, we do not have any spell available, so we start as a pretty weak character. We are susceptible to cold. Have to take really good care if we meet a white imp or something. We are immune to poison, which is excellent, and we have got a very good fire resistance to start with. Apart from that, yeah, immune to sickness and miasma, that's also good to know. Um, we float through the air, so we are permanently flying. Um, and we get a little bonus to our vitality, which is helpful since we do not have mana we needed to cast the spells. So, the first levels will be super, super tough. Let's quickly go down to d6. We see two dangerous enemies. One of them does frost damage. So we instantly retreat and we X out the staircase. We will not go down there. Let's try to pick up everything that's very close here. Oh, fuck. Sigmund. I do not want to lo to risk waking up Sigmund, so let's instantly go back. Picking up this uh, this potion would have been a risk that I do not I'm not willing to take, not on a street game. So we don't get that potion. Can we get this one? Oh no 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 no! A sleep cap. That's not good. Let's try to get away from that too. Down here is a scroll of fog that could be helpful. Let's try to get away from this sleep cap quickly. Oh, damn. It's a bad start. Might have to burn through what, some of our consumables very early. We found a potion. That's nice, at least. Let's stay away from... Oh, no, we have to go back up. That's not good. I don't think we need the chain, chain armor. We will go for spell casting. Oh, fuck. We somehow have to get around this guy. Let's try it. If he stays down there, maybe we can turn back up. That's a single null. I can't really fight the null either. Hmm. Really dangerous. You know, guys, let's read our scroll of re revelation here. We need to know where the upstairs are. Here, here, and here. That's really bad. To get here, we definitely have to go past the sleep cap, which we probably cannot do at the moment. We could. Ah, the gnolls, too, also too strong. Ah, damn, what can we do here? Can we somehow get around Sigmund? Huh. Let's try to get around Sigmund. We maybe have to use our digging wand for that purpose. Yeah, let's dig up here. <sighs> Damn. We don't have the damage to kill the scorpion. He cannot poison us, that's good, but 
Sigmund blocks all everything on the way over here. Probably we have just we just have to rush through with a. Uh, oh fuck! Sigmund broke up. We have to haste now. Oh wait, 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 wait. He can confuse us all the time. Sixty-one percent chance. Let's. We need to read here. Yeah, he retreats. We will try to get through here. Oh damn! I don't know. Oh, no, sergeant. I know it's horrible, but we have to haste now. I hope that we can just rush through here. Reach the stairs. We take one orc up with us. Luckily, there's nobody else. Okay. Can we kill him? Yes, we killed the orc. By the way, uh, what are we doing here? That's all very bad. Fighting three is okay. Let's try to get short blades up to two, maybe, for the start. Okay, we are burned through a significant part of our resources on the first level. We don't have revelation anymore. We don't have haste anymore and don't have fear. That's really bad. At least we get a close down staircase and we get a dagger. The dagger is better for stabbing. So let's keep that dagger and instantly go up here. We are on D3 now. That's already a lot less dangerous. What's that? That's a buckler our corrosion plus two and dex plus two. That's interesting. This is a rope with our poise and RF, which is pretty useless for us since we already have RF2 and our poison immunity. So just the buckler from here. Let's wait for this bat to come up to us before we kill it. And stay in the corner. So I hope oh, okay. it takes too long. So get the bat. Guys, I will feel a lot better once we've reached D1. And then, okay, we can kill him. Step, nice. Short place goes up to two. We will be a caster. We do want to be a caster. So let's get ourselves some spell casting to for the start. Wait, we cast, we learn all the spells at once with plus 11 aptitude. Was it always like that? That's crazy. So let's get all the spell casting stuff up to level one. We can't just learn all spells or nothing. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, but we just wanted to level one everything. And that's interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if that's new. We're playing on trunks, so maybe that was a change. It would be pretty handy if the if the maximum that I enter here would also apply to all the spell classes at once, just for quality of life. Mm -hmm. Probably have to fight this and the plasma, but I think we should be able to do that. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, he has freeze. That's actually very dangerous for us. Let's try to outrun him. Okay, okay, I don't like that. Did we get a spell? We still don't have a spell. Can... Oh, let's get away. Don't want to wake up this orc. Oh, I think we outran him. Paralysis, that's good. Let's retreat into the corridor. See if we can... Just melee him. Yes, we can. That's good. Reach level two. Did we get a spell? No spells. And here are the upstairs. Let's pick up the money. I feel a bit better now with the paralysis available. We should be able to step him. This guy will kill him melee. 
That's good. Terence is a bit. Let me quickly check his uh, willpower. It's pretty low. We we are probably able. Okay, he saw us, so we have to do that. Let's uh, paralyze him if we can. Fifty-seven. Yes. Got him. Everything up to one. Let's also get evocations up to one. And maybe evocations up to two. Um, I, I don't want to set the maximum for all that. Let's try to get all the spells up to two as well. Intelligence goes up. Needs to increase any attributes. Did we? Your power to cast Necrotize. Wells up from within. Necrotize. That's our first spell. How exactly does Necrotize work? Let's check it. Uh, um, damn. We have to find it out. We have a 22% failure chance. Maze of Draining. We don't need... Let's necrotize this guy. Yeah, yeah, okay, we did nice damage. I killed him. Is it just an ordinary damage spell? Probably. Miscast, miscast. Damage, good. Need to increase our necromancy a little bit until we can cast it more reliably. Rue is not a god. Is not the god we want. Or probably go for Sif Muna or so. Or Gozek would also be an idea. Here is the upstair. Let's take it. And we are on D1. Okay, on D1 I feel a lot better already. Here's the entrance. From, from now on, this is just an ordinary run. We lost most of, most of our resources, so we don't have a bonus, apart from starting on experience level 3. But uh, from now on, just ordinary dungeon exploration. Ah, if we necrotize and kill the enemies, they turn into skeletons. So, go, go down, skeletons. Help me get rid of these guys. Okay, the, oh, the endoplasm. It's dangerous. Can, can the skeletons do the job? That's the guy with, uh, with the frost damage. I'll try to outrun him. Oh, damn, that was stupid. I could have gotten through the door. But we still can. So, let's go to distance. Wait here. And now, I want to see if we can kill him with Necrotize. Yes. And he's dead. Level 4. Nice. You feel agile. We got agility. Oh, well, gives us a little bit of dodge. Not a bad thing, I think. Come on, dude. Cockroach. Cockroaches, we can just melee. That's a ball python. That's our ball python. Orb of energy does not help us at all since we don't use mana. But that's nice. The ball python skeleton can still construct. I want another ball python. Good. Come on, kill him. Oh! oh, that's not good. That didn't work. I probably messed it up. We have to kill him with one spell. Oh, and we did it. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, man. Bad play. I didn't think that uh, all our spells would not kill him. Amulet of Reflection. That's definitely good to have. Put that on. 
five points of shields and we occasionally reflect projectiles shot at us. Oh damn, we almost died at D1. Why? Being constructed. Come on. Yeah, okay, that's our Python. That's our Python too. Wait for the other. Python. Good. A lot of ball pythons. Okay, everything goes up to two. Let's check our spell chance now. 14% failure. Got got him. And a little bit more HP soon. Stepping in this guy, good. What about our spells? We still got just this one, Necrotize. We cannot learn any spells from books. We just automatically get spells, and it's a bit of a roulette. We have to gamble for good spells. Which gods can we get here? That's Nemelex Xorbe, which is good. Maclep, which we don't need, and Wujan, who we also don't need. So we will not take this Faded Altar. But let's pick up these Boomerangs, and maybe let's get throwing to level 1, just for a little bit of higher... To hit chance. Okay, we need to go in here because the frost damage of this guy is very dangerous and we don't want to fight him without our help from our skeleton ally. Uh, let's go to distance. this. Oh, fuck. Damage is off. We need to get away. We need to get away. He does too much damage. I'll run him. And I again took the wrong direction. What am I doing? Let's try to do the 2v1. And you get him. Oh god, that was close. What a dangerous bomb. And Necrotize is really not the best starting spell, I think. I don't feel very safe necrotizing the enemies. Anything else that helps us here? Nope. But we're done with D2. That's something. We already got two double stacks of scrolls. Let's read these. Vulnerability. Okay, that's good to know if you want to paralyze somebody. The other one is immolation. That's also good to know since we have very high fire resistance. That's both pretty useful spells for this character. Oh damn, our boomerang broke. Just one boomerang left. Let's use that to lure this orc over here. Level 5, and we get Static Discharge! Oh, that's good. That's a spell that actually does something when the enemy is next to us. Let's put that on 2. Okay. Now come on, dude. Static Discharge, and he's dead. Perfect. That's how I want to see it. Bam, bam, dead. Let's get close and discharge him. 
Also, it does damage against multiple enemies at once when they are adjacent. Okay, got it. We got pretty low there. Close the door. Anyways, that's really nice. I'm happy, really, really happy that we got this spell. That gives us the chance also to kill this guy, for example. Translocation, fire, ice, air, everything up to level 3. That's decent. 13%. I want to get static dust discharge below... Uh, below 10% though. We just keep learning the spells. Oh fuck. I saw an orc priest over there. Let's see. Stupid me. Necrotize is not a melee spell. We can use it from a distance. Once we take damage. Oh fuck. The orc priest shouts. Pantheon deserves no one's loyalty. Let us show you the true path. Do we want to convert to Bjork? The new Bjork is actually pretty cool. But, hmm. Isn't it more of a melee god, I think? No, let's kill these guys. Got them. <sighs> Again, a bit risky. If he insta smited us maybe several times. That would have been bad. A potion of a uh, ring of flight. We can instantly drop that. We fly all the time, anyways. What about his resistance to electricity? To miasma and drowning. He's not resistant to electricity. We do the damage. And we got him. Nice. That was a nice bit of experience. Almost at four. And we get a ring of strength. We let's, let's use that. It's better than nothing. It's more melee damage. Is it? With a dagger? No, it's not. It's complete waste for this character. Yeah, but the beetle didn't see us. That's what I hoped. Waiting for the beetle. Ah, oh, damn. I hope the red would survive a little bit longer. Okay, the beetle is not that dangerous actually because our fire resistance is so high. Got all the spell classes at four. Nice. Let's take a little break from the spells and get a bit more HP. Unknown scroll. That's faith. Which doesn't help us at the moment either. I think we need some more HP, definitely. Good, got them. Nice. And we get also Kubo's armor. That's also a nice spell. Chances, 14%. Let's put that on F1. As long as we don't move, we get plus 4 armor class by that. Okay. I'm happy with the last pass we got. So we can just... Also, oh, that was the wrong button. We can just kill him. That's, that's fine with me too. <coughs> Apart from that, nothing we want from here, I guess. So let's go down to D4. We got another stack that might be identified. Yes, it is. Very good. Um, we have identified haste, but we do not have identified curing and heal wounds. I hope we will get that. Lignify. Attraction. That's also crap. And brilliance. Whew. I think attraction we can drop. The others, yeah, well, brilliance is good, I think. I 
let's get them. Drop nothing of interest. Come here, dude. Good. Fighting is up to four. Good. Um, continue with spellcasting. It's interesting that we learn all the spells. We are pretty much a spell now. Enlightenment. We already fly, so that's just the magic resistance for us. Less valuable than it would usually be. By a little bit. Yeah, we've got at least two spells already that is synergized pretty well. So we can increase our armor and when we are surrounded, do damage to everybody. That's a plus three whip of flaming. That's in every respect a better weapon than our dagger. So let's swap to that. Ambrosia, that's for us only a confusion regenerating potion. Just half useful. Let's look up here. Nice. And we're done with D4. Let's take a short look at the loot. Nothing of interest. Also, we did not miss any new spells. No, we didn't. Down to d5. Oh, fuck. Is that the situation I was just talking about? Yes, that's our armor class. And now we just electrify them all. First one down. A lot more down. Let's go upstairs. Get the armor up again. Didn't work. Can we paralyze him, Jay? Yes. No, it didn't work. <sighs> we are pretty low. How much damage does he do? He bites for six. So we can take at least two more. Thirteen. Nine. And he's dead. Perfect. Come on, Mr. No, come here. Uh-oh. Uh, rather go upstairs. With Sigmund in the background, that was too dangerous. This is pretty tough, too, because... Okay, we can... Fuck, too much damage. Need to haste and run away. And now kill him from a distance, hopefully. Yes, got him. Ah, damn, I wasted the haste potion. Let's check this scroll as well when we're down here. After killing him, I mean. Read the scroll. Teleportation, okay. We just go up. I don't want to randomly teleport. Hello, Mr. Worm. Come here. Waiting for you. Oh, fuck. Ah, I forgot. It's Sigmund, of course. Pick up the ambrosia. Okay, and that's a 2v1 situation now. Armor is up, good. And now we can static discharge while well, our zombie is dead. Come here.
we feel clever. That's very good. We've got a point of intelligence here. A hound comes into view. Where is that hound? I didn't see it. We should probably kill this Iguana though, but not instantly. We we'll just regenerate first. Get the armor up and then we kill him. Armor up and kill him. Armor up. Oh, that was stupid. Mm. Let's quaff enlightenment for magic resistance. And get the armor up and now kill him. Good, we got him. Very good. Six in all spell classes now. No new spell, but we've got pretty good chances on all our spells now. Ha! I should probably have got the armor up. Eh? I better not forget that. Nice! That was good. Mutation. And we're down to d6. Let's see how we handle this ogre. Almost got him. Luckily he did not hit us. And we kill him. Perfect. Pick up this potion. Step back here. We've got a couple more scrolls to check. Brand weapon. Not bad. Brand weapon. Let's brand the dagger. Which is now a heavy dagger. Okay, that sucks. This is a scroll of noise. We just read them away. And we were summoning. That was a bit of a waste. But we can just send them up to kill the enemies. Nice, got him. Fuck, that was a mistake. Bad mistake. What am I doing here? Upstairs? Okay, that was good. Kill him. Oh god, I almost messed it up. All spells up to level 7, not bad. Still no new spell though. Let's see if we can get this guy. He, uh, no, I'm pretty sure he's resistant to electricity. Or is he not? I think he's not. Sure he's not? Wait, that doesn't work at all. Don't do damage to him. That was curing. Good. Do we do damage with this one? Yes. Yeah, that's the better spell. And guys, we just entered dungeon level 6. We survived the start. We are now down to the deepest level that we checked at the beginning. We survived the start, played a little more than half an hour. I think it was pretty exciting. I made a couple of mistakes. As I told you, I'm not definitely not the perfect crawl player. But I, anyways, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I surely did. Do we, will we manage to get this gym to a streak week on Delvas? A streak win on Delvas? Maybe. If you want to find out, tune in again for the next episode. Until then, bye everybody.